Hey guys, Real111 Team. I'm going to do a little initial impressions for a new uh, item that I picked up. Um, so, many of you will be familiar with the Military Surplus Check cook set. This is a great kind of solo or two person pot set that's on the surplus market right now. It consists of a plate or pan, depending on if you have something to hold it with, and two pots. And these two pots kind of fit together here. And the plate can also be a lid for the larger pot. It's a, it's a great value. There's plenty of uh, surplus websites that have these um, for the $8 to $12 range. And in my opinion, they are worth it. You should buy several of them. You should put them in all your kits. They're really great. Got sort of positive retention which is a nice thing I really like about the military surplus ones. Um, they are made out of a heavy gauge, sort of military surplus style aluminum. Um, I've always been kind of a stainless steel guy, so you know I'd seen some YouTube videos of people using a stainless steel version of it, but there was never any uh, stainless steel version of it available on the American market. Um, I found one on eBay UK and I inquired as to shipping and was told the shipping would be 45 pounds, which is ridiculous. Um, because it was, uh, I think they were selling it for 15 pounds plus 45, so 60 pounds altogether. It's almost $100, and um, there's plenty of great options for almost $100. But I was looking for something cheaper. Now, you know, $8 to $12, solid. This will last you for the rest of your life, okay? But if you wanted it in stainless steel, this has just come on. I'll put a link below onto the eBay seller where I got this from. Now, this... Um, one thing that I right out of the box that's a little bit annoying is this one has a real good positive retention. This clip holds it closed. This one isn't quite large enough. When it came, it was bent up a little bit back here, and it did actually kind of make a positive retention if you really pushed it down. And then with the slightest sort of bump, it would twang all the way open like that. So I bent it up a little bit, and now um, it works really well. Basically, it just it doesn't doesn't hold the pot set closed. So, if that's a deal breaker for you. Um, but the uh, the set seems to be made out of a decent uh, quality stainless steel. I, I have not used it at all. Um, some people might find some major fault with that. Um, but, uh, it's about thin stainless steel. It's about the thickness of an Al MSR Alpine uh, pot. And it's got a little bit of flex, maybe. The interior one, the handle works a little bit better. These are all kind of uh, tack welded, kind of like what you'd see on a Seagull set, as opposed to the military one that has some heavy duty rivets. Um, and so you got your, your pot, your lid, and you got your smaller one. Now, if we try and do this, this doesn't work quite as well as it does with the aluminum one, but I don't know if that's really kind of a deal breaker for me. Um, and this, uh, so this was $17.97, including shipping from this uh, seller. And uh, it came with some extras. It came with this little pouch. And this is what I knew was going to come with it. It's a little set of a spoon fork knife. And they fold open. And there's a little slider. And you just kind of slide into position there. And then it's fixed in place. And it's pretty rugged. Now, one thing I was not ready for is this little knife is not a butter knife. It actually has a sharpened edge on it. So if you get this, be careful of that. Definitely keep it in the pouch. And then uh, uh, the spoon. So uh, $17.97, and this is what it was billed as, the, the kit and this. But in addition to that, but wait, there's more. There's a little ball of this fire starting material it says to light green fireball place a gouge on the surface the fingernail lifting and leaving some loose material so it's easily lighted green fire okay and a tiny little ferro rod with striker now this is about a chinese ferro rod you know it's a it's a it's decent quality throw some decent sparks it's really tiny it's smaller than a light my fire scout um, so that's interesting. So yeah, $17.97, including shipping. 
and it shipped very fast. I ordered it, I think, Friday, and it was here Monday. That's fast, okay? Um, one thing I noticed that's interesting is if is this is enough of a clone that if you wanted to, you can actually mix and match parts. So I could take the fry pan, put it on here, and clamp it down, and go all uh, USGI mountain kit on it, having a stainless steel fry pan and two aluminum pots. Or, you know, vice versa. You know, this will work as a lid for the big pot. So, yeah. So, $17.97 is not a bad price. Uh, this is smaller sized, um, but it's still a, a little bit wider for this wider pot. If you've got an alcohol stove, maybe, that, that throws a wider flame pattern and you don't like the real tall, narrow pots, this might be something to look into. Uh, so, yeah. Like I said, um, now these do suffer. This one seems like it's a little bit better. One thing you have to be aware of with either one is that if you go to pour out of this, you might want to have um, pliers or something to hold it because you'll get this kind of action going. There's no actual lock um, to hold it in place. As far as build quality, I noticed a little bit. Let me see if I can focus there. A little bit of a gap here. It seems like it's on there pretty solid, but... Uh, I think probably this tack weld is probably not that great, but there looks like there's two more on this side and three more up here. So we'll see. I'll get it out and use it a little bit and I'll report back to you. But it seems fairly solid. Um, like I said, it's kind of annoying that the closure doesn't work. Um, it's been suggested that I could play around with this bend a little bit, but uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So. That's kind of annoying. It's been out of focus that whole time. Why didn't you guys tell me? All right. So, yeah. So you get two pots, a pan, and three utensils. And I don't know if this is going to come with all of them, but uh, it was in the box, the sealed box. Fire starter, pouch, $17.97. Not bad. Thanks for watching.